Okay, quick tips uh, from the Rexer show. This is a quick tip on how to fix audio problems. Uh, you're not getting the clicks on the RetroPie menu. You're not getting game volume. Uh, you're having some audio issues. Uh, I'm going to show you a few ways to change that. There's always one, more than one way to skin a cat with Raspberry Pi. I'm going to throw you, so you, show you three options here that should fix your issue. Um, and most of the issues that people have is they're in their sound settings. And this is stuck on zero. They change, you change it and it goes back to zero um, and you can't figure out what's going on. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the settings that I would change without having to go into the config files and updating text um, that should solve your problem. So here we go. Start in audio, let's start in the audio tab, uh, option for um, RPI. You'll see these options here. Can scroll down to if, if you're using HDMI obviously this is this, this is my volume set to HDMI or my audio is going through HDMI so I select HDMI select audio output to HDMI enter enter okay second option down in Raspberry config Raspberry config hit the A down to advanced down to audio and force HDMI obviously if you're using a headphone jack you force the headphone jack okay I'm gonna go down and finish third setting retro pie setup configuration tools, audio settings, HDMI, enter, set audio, enter, back, exit, and now you should be able to go back to your sound settings, move the volume up, And this time it should stick now you can mess around with the audio device um, you shouldn't have to enable that turn off enable navigation sounds you shouldn't have to turn off enable video audio uh, you should just leave this on both um, you can tool around there if you want but after that you should be hearing the clicks you should have game audio all right that's it for these quick tips on fixing your audio